So I'm going to go ahead and do a wear test today with color number 25. And it is about 11.45 in the morning. And we have a movie that starts at 12.20. So I have to hurry up and get out of here. So I'm just going to put a little bit on the center of my face. And also a little bit around my mouth area. And I'm just going to rub this all in with my fingers. And I'm not going to do concealer or anything. I'm just going to use the foundation and the Fenty Glow Lip Gloss that I wore yesterday when I was doing a wear test of color number 27. As I mentioned, the Pat McGrath Labs rep that was at Sephora the other day matched me with color 27 and 25. She said that 27 was more of my summer color with 25, which is what I'm wearing now, being my winter shade. So that is color number 25. Put a little bit more under my eyes since I'm not going to be wearing concealer. And I will of course go outside and do a little bit of video there as well so you can see what this looks like in the natural sunlight. I actually like both of them, 25 and uh, 27, so I'm probably going to end up buying both of them at some point. And this is just the Fenty Gloss Balm, the Fenty Glow one. So I'll do some quick video outside and then I will check back in in a few hours. So this is just a quick uh, outdoor shot of the color number 25 in the Pat McGrath Foundation and the Fenty Glow Lip Gloss. So that is what it's looking like in natural daylight. And it's about 11.45. So I will check back in. So it's about 3 o'clock, just doing a check-in. Just doing a quick check-in. So this is color number 25 with the Fenty Gloss Balm. Hey, just doing a quick check-in. It is 7.32. If you recall, I put this foundation on around 11.45 this morning before we were rushing out to the movies. Oh, this is Pat McGrath color number 25. I'm sure I've said that earlier in this video but just wanted to reconfirm. And I have on the Fenty Gloss Balm, Fenty Glow. Let me zoom you in. So I did a check-in earlier. Actually, maybe I did two check-ins. So it's held up really well, just like the 26 and 27, although it hasn't been as hot today, thankfully, here in New York. So I do like color number 25, and I am probably gonna buy 25 and 27 now that I've tested both of them out and 27 looks a little bit more made up, like I'm going out, while 25 is probably an everyday color. And also 27 is when I have a tan, while 25 looks a little more natural. So, in case you're interested, those are colors number 26, 27, and 25 that I've tested out with at least an 8-hour wear test for each of them. And if you're my complexion, I suggest you try those three as well. Hope this helps. Thanks.